Start with the breaking news of the last hour. The man who killed Chris Hani, Janus Wallace, release, will be released from parole in 10 calendar days after spending nearly three decades in prison. Today, the Constitutional Court overturned an earlier decision by the Minister of Justice and Correctional Services, Ronald Lamola, that he should be denied parole. Our reporter, Pilani Pakadi, in court. Pilani, good afternoon to you. A difficult decision, a long judgment read out by the judges today. About an hour, ten minutes, of course, that was the duration of the, the judgment that the Chief Justice Raymond Zonda has had to write out. And uh, indeed, within that particular judgment, he was giving reasons why he was going to come to the judgment that he was, he was uh, uh, due to read. And I think it is important to also note that in his judgment, he did note that the, the, the Minister of uh, Justice and Correctional Services, and that is Ronald Lamola, um, uh, um, really uh, did not have to make the decisions that he has, done, he, he has made, and that is to deny I, Janus Awalus, with uh, that particular opportunity to be placed on uh, parole. He says that, uh, uh, you know, Janus Walus was already um, uh, um, required by, by, by law to, uh, to be placed on parole back in 2005, and only since 2011 has he been applying, and uh, with, uh, with, an, with the minimum times of uh, having applied five times and uh, being turned away at all those times, they believe that uh, every person within the country of South Africa uh, should be able to, you know, uh, enjoy the rights of uh, the country. And he even went on to read the preamble of South Africa and talking particularly around the Constitution that uh, South Africans uh, have uh, sworn to abide by the Constitution and uh, the Constitution in it uh, allows uh, Yanis Walus to go out on parole after serving a certain term of the 25 years, I mean, let's just say the life imprisonment that he had had. And already he has served about 28 years since he was first incarcerated. So Dimpo Hani who came out the guns blazing just after the judgment and she feels that there has been an injustice and, uh, and, and also went out to, to go guns blazing against the Chief Justice Raymond Zonda saying that uh, he did not even consider her and her family and as well as the SACP when he was delivering that particular judgment because um, he only talked about the rights of Yanis Walus but not the rights of, of the family of uh, Hani as a, as a father, as a husband and as well as the General Secretary of the SACP. The SACP was in court in itself and they feel that there has been an injustice that had occurred and the, the only way to protect that particular justice is, if, is as if they carry on and protect it themselves. So we, we're talking to Solima Paila, the General Secretary, and he is just outside uh, uh, addressing some of those who came here to court here in, in that particular regard. But of course, uh, Dim Pohani, if you, if, you, if you heard her, you may, you may have heard her, her soul really kind of cringing and she was really much devastated and she feels that because this is the apex court, she, she doesn't really have some much uh, recourse after this, but take a listen to what Dimpohani had to say just after the, the judgment. Chief Justice Zondo has failed this country completely, and I, I'm not going to apologize. Zondo never referred to my family, to myself, to my children, and the trauma and the suffering. This mm. judgment is diabolical, mm. totally diabolical. I've never seen anything like this. Very angry reaction from Dimpo. Hani Palani Pakadi, live for us in court. Thank you very much indeed. I made the point earlier, a decision that is likely to lead to many conversations in our society.